Hello everyone. Welcome to Bible Stories in Lego, Episode 5, The Tabernacle. Still using the basic forms of Lego and using our imagination to fill in the rest of the detail. We're going to start with the Ark of the Covenant. And the Ark of the Covenant was God's promise box. Covered in gold, it had four handles for being carried. Inside it had the Ten Commandments. On top was the lid, which is the same word for atonement or pardon or forgiveness. And there were these angels also carved on top to celebrate the presence of God, these great features of God, that his law is unchanging, but his forgiveness always real. Now I need a place to put it, and I've got two bases to make a cube. And the reason why I need a cube is because that's the dimension of the far room of the two-room temple where the Ark of the Covenant stayed. I'm only going to build up two layers of the side because otherwise I would need more pieces and it would take more time. But I'm happy just to give an inkling of what it was all about. So this is the place where the Ark of the Covenant lived. And every year, on one day in the year, the high priest could go and visit. And he was said, on behalf of the people, to meet with God. I'm only doing three sides, as you can see, because the fourth side was how you got in. And it was the temple. Uh, excuse me, in the temple, it was the curtain. This whole tabernacle was later built in stone by Solomon and called the temple. Still in the temple, or tabernacle itself, there were other items. This is freshly baked bread on a, a table. And here I'm going to construct the seven branched candlestick. Seven little flames kept the light to signify also the presence of God. So that was inside and the priests would see this. Indeed, they were responsible for keeping it lit inside the entrance hall before the high priest went in to the holy place. So imagine a wall there and a door this end. Then outside, the final piece we're going to construct is the altar itself. Sometimes the animals would be uh, meat for the people bringing them, sometimes for the priests, sometimes just called a burnt offering. But at the junction of three continents and the connection of three trade routes, the whole world knew of the Jewish faith, which said God was the maker of heaven and earth. You can't see him, but he speaks a lot through his prophets. This was the centre of national life. And then Jesus came and he said, I am the bread of life you've been looking forward to. I am the light of the world that shows you truth. I give my life to be your last living sacrifice for that altar, a ransom for many. And when I die, the curtain is opened to show that you go to heaven. And just as there were two angels with the presence of God on the Ark of the Covenant, there are two angels at my empty tomb, reminding you that I was God on earth. The whole thing was about Christ. No wonder John chapter 1 verse 14 says, the word became flesh and dwelt or tabernacled amongst us. Thank you for joining me.